So we did a YouTube live for our subscribers and one of the questions we got was, you live on an aluminum boat. What happens if you get hit by lightning? Lane and I looked at each other. We really had no clue. So we had to investigate and this is what we found out. Have you ever wanted to just change your life? We did. We're the Carmina family and we felt we were wasting our lives and we desperately needed a change. So we bought and moved on to an old 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a complete refit. Join us as we refit Tangrera while exploring the world around us one island at a time. So we live on an aluminum boat, and this is a completely aluminum shell, mm -hmm. basically. We always get asked, if we get struck by lightning on the boat, what'll happen? So I wonder if you could answer that for us. So, one of Faraday's principles, very fundamental principle in the development of electricity and how we harness it, is that a hollow conductor, or a conductor in general, if it gets swarmed with electricity and hit, none of that charge will make it inside. So even with a bird cage full of holes, like our demos do, and it's called a Faraday cage, named after him. That charge, if it's gonna hit the outside of a conductor, so like an airplane, or a car, or an aluminum boat, the charge will only stay on the outside and not penetrate and get inside the vessel. So there you have it. There you have it, and guess what? We're going into a Faraday cage right now. Just to show you guys, to imagine, we're going into Tangaroa, and this is what's gonna happen. That's what it'd be like inside Tangaroa in a lightning storm. If we got hit by lightning. Well, Let's not do that. It would be one, one big bang. <laughs> <laughs>